16 years ago and decided to open a cafe um, in Maine. I thought I'd be able to make $100 a day and um, not have to work really hard. Uh, 15 years later, we were serving 400 people a day for lunch and I just needed to reevaluate. Um, so I took a year off and now I'm reopening as a more uh, centered person to celebrate my passions, which will include sustainable and local food. I started a blog when I stopped Lilies because I kind of wanted to just document a year of trying to figure out who I was and uh, got great followers and I've decided to just keep doing it. Um, and then we just launched Lilies House website and I'm really pleased with it. I wanted to be kind of quiet um, with photos and maybe not a lot of words and someone the other day that it's so subtle that it slaps you in the face. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm going to be doing lunch, a farmhouse lunch once a week on Thursdays which will be going to the farmer's markets in the beginning of the week and then making lunch on Thursday. So the menu will be purely what I find and basically a prefix. You'll just come in, you'll pay $22 and you'll eat. And then around that we'll do wine workshops and cooking classes and um, anything that embraces uh, food and how it gets here and how it's sustained here and um, how it's grown and everything. Um, when I first got here, that it wasn't quite as year-round available, and the diversity wasn't as intense, but now, between Elliot Coleman and everybody else picking up on the winter stuff, you really could get by without going to the grocery store. I just have always kind of followed my heart with things, especially food. I remember being young and just cooking what I wanted to and not having any real idea what I was doing. So you, I remember being here in the summer and making blueberry muffins without a recipe and they were horrible, but um, the idea of mixing butter and flour together and getting a paste and then going from there. And I think that that uh, naivety has followed me all the way through in everything I've done, but it's also kind of allowed me to keep reminding myself not to be afraid of trying really new things that you want to do. And I think design goes through everything. I feel like uh, the space you're in and, and the ingredients you're using or the fabric you're touching uh, or the color that you're standing among really just really either makes your soul sing or it shuts you down. So I've always reached for the best stuff um, without a lot of funds and just a way to find them in unique ways and interweave that into my life. And now I just like to show people how to do that.